Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you how to make a photo slideshow keynote where multiple images transition onto the slide at the same time. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 900 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So you often see videos now that are slideshows for real estate, travel, or events featuring multiple photos and the photos transition onto the slide at the same time. Here's an example of what it looks like. Now let's build that. We're going to do that in Keynote. In Keynote I'm going to select a basic white theme here. I'm going to make sure I'm using a widescreen theme since that's what video uses. And then I'm going to start with this first slide here. I'm going to get rid of the text on it. Of course your slides may actually include text as well. But in this tutorial I'll just focus on the images. So let's bring in an image here. And then the idea is that this image will take up only a portion of the slide. Let's have this one appear on the left here and be very vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click it and I'm going to bring the edges in cropping part of the image out and I can move the image over to reveal what I want to show in the part that will be visible. This part here. So I'll click Done and then I could resize this image here and maybe put it here as a vertical image. Let's bring in a few others and do the same thing. Now we can have these transition in. So for instance we can use a wipe transition to have this wipe down from the top. Let's go ahead and do that here under Animate, Build In, I'm going to add an effect and I'm going to choose Wipe. And I'm going to have it wipe from the top and then I'm going to change it so it's a pretty quick wipe like that. I can preview it and you can see how it wipes like that. Let's do this one but add a build in effect that's wipe and let's have that go from the bottom. And we'll also have that go for half a second. And we can preview that. Well, let's have this one come from the top as well. So wipe from the top for half a second. And then let's have this one come in from the right. So wipe from the right for half a second. And we can see how that looks. Now if we were to preview this entire slide here I'll press play. I have to click to go and for each one of those you could see it appears like that. Now what would be great is if they happen automatically. So to do that I'm going to go to Build Order and with Build Order first I'm going to take this first element here and have it start after the transition. The second one I'm going to have it start at the same time and I'm going to do that for each one of these. So each one will happen at the same time. I can actually use the Preview button here to preview it all. So I'll hit Preview and you can see how they all come in at the same time. Now what would be even better is if they didn't come in at exactly the same time. But they didn't have to wait for each one to complete. So I can go to the second one here and say yes go with Build 1 but delay slightly. One tenth of a second. And this one also delay one tenth of a second. That will delay one tenth of a second after the one before it. And this one, one tenth. So these three won't all happen at the same time. They'll each be delayed one tenth of a second from the one before it. Now, when we preview, we can see they kind of all wipe in at the same time, but this one starts first. And then each one follows in suit, creating a very nice effect. Let's add another slide here. I'll use a blank slide. And this time, we'll create something that looks a little bit different. We'll have four very vertical pieces. So I will bring in this image here. I'm going to then double click it to crop and crop it to make it pretty vertical. Let's make it like 500 pixels wide and done. And then I'm going to move that over here and I'm going to do the same thing with three other images. Now 
So now that I've got these, I'm going to shrink them a little bit. So I want basically it to this one to stick kind of to the bottom here. So I'm going to make it say 900 high. And then I'll do the same for each one of these. They'll snap to each other so they'll each be 900 high. And now I'm going to make these snap to the top like that. And I'm going to space them apart. And to make sure they're even I'm going to select them all and go Arrange, Distribute Objects, Horizontally. Now let's have these move in from the top and bottom. So this one here I'll add an effect. Instead of Wipe I'll do Move In and I'll do From the Bottom. This one I'll do Move In from the Top. And this one Move In from the Bottom. And this one Move In from the Top. And now I can actually select all of these and change you can see it says multiple directions there but I can change them all to be you know something quicker like 0.75 and I can turn off balance for each one of those. Now if I were to go and look at the build order for this and preview it after I change them all to say happen after the previous build each one's going to happen on its own like that which is nice but let's have them all happen, at least the three later ones, with the previous build. So now they all happen together. And then we could still do a delay for each one of 0.1 seconds. So it happens like that. So it's very cool, kind of organic, because they're all coming in at slightly different times. You don't even have to have them all coming in in order. So I could have this one coming first, this one, this one, and this one if I wanted to. So that's another way to do it. Now let's create another slide here. I'll create a blank slide. And let's put some images on that as well. This time I'll have these basically fill up just a portion of the screen for each one. Be the same size like that. But what I want to do here is in addition to adding a wipe from the left in that case and then this one will do a wipe from the bottom and then we'll do build order and we'll have this one happen after the transition. This one happen with build one with a slight delay. Now we can preview these like that. What will be nice is to have something in the background actually happening. So I'm going to bring in a background graphic right here and I'm going to make this really big. It's going to cover the entire background. I'm going to go off to the edge here and I actually want to zoom out a little bit. So I have it go like that and to like that and be positioned like there. And what I'm going to do is go to Format, Image and I'm going to click on the color controls there. I'm going to play with those. I'm going to decrease the contrast and increase the saturation a bit like that so it's kind of more of a background. I'm going to arrange and send it to the back so it's behind those images. You know, so now if I go and I want to preview the build order here, you can see that there's something better than a solid color background. What would be even better is if this moved, if it was kind of animated. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to animate it and I'm going to actually go to Action and then go to Move. And now I get this line here. So it starts here and I want it to end like here. But I wanted to do it over a long period of time, like say six seconds, maybe the total length of the slide. And then this I'm going to have happen with build one. I actually want it to start at the beginning. I'm going to put it all the way at the beginning here. So it starts after transition. The background is always moving from the very beginning. Then this one is going to happen with build one, but let's delay it one second. And this one will happen with build one as well one tenth of a second after the first one. So now you can see the background image is moving right from the get-go and then those two images come in and then the background image continues to move. I want to go in here and also change ease in and ease out to none. So it's kind of a linear movement. So now you get that kind of thing. And you can add a background like that on any of those slides I did before. Now let's add another slide here and I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to get creative with shapes. So I'm going to create two triangle shapes. And I'm going to stick them in the corner here and increase 
the size quite a bit. I'm going to Option Drag to duplicate this and I'm going to Format. Uh, and what we can do here is uh, under Arrange, I will rotate. I'm going to do 180 degrees. That's it. And there we go. Now it's in the upper left hand corner there. I'm going to add another shape that is a rectangle. And this rectangle, I'm actually going to rotate this 45 degrees and then have this fit in like that. And now let's make sure these are squared off here. You can see the width and height should match. So let's do an 800, 800, and same thing here so that these are right angles. And then I can put this here in the middle and then increase the size a bit. And then I'm going to option drag to duplicate that and I've got a second one here. So now I've got these shapes here. Let's put some images in them. So I'm going to drag an image to here and position it. I'm going to drag an image to here and position that. I don't want to see this corner to be exposed here so I want to enlarge it a little bit. I'm going to drag another image to here and also increase the size and then another image here. Make sure that also covers everything. So that's how that looks there. And now let's add some movement into this. I can then go to Animate, Build In, Add an Effect, and let's move in from the left. Let's move in, but from the right. I could, if I want, go from the top right. So let's see what that looks like. Like that. Maybe let's do those. And let's turn off bounce for those. Now this one, we could have it go straight down. Move in from top to bottom. This one, move in from bottom to top. Let's turn off bounce for both of those like that. And let's bring up the build order now to sort them all out. So uh, we want to basically select them all and say, they all start after previous build. Select these three and say with previous build with no delay. Let's preview it. You get a nice effect like that. So now I have a nice effect there. So we have four slides here with four different ways of bringing things in. Now let's go and complete this with build outs. So here when this slide is done what we wanted to do is build out really nicely. So we're going to go to animate here. I'm going to select all three, all four of these, build out, add an effect, and in this case, let's try dissolve. So now they'll each dissolve like that. Let's bring up the build order. I'm going to select just the last three and say with the previous build. This one is not going to wait for a click. It's going to do after build four. So build four would have to finish. Then this one will happen. But let's put a delay in there, a delay of four seconds or three seconds. And now let's preview the entire thing. They all wipe in, three seconds, and then they all dissolve out. What would be really cool is if they dissolved out slightly different times. So this one will do a 0.2 delay, another 0.2 delay, and another 0.2 delay. And you could drag and drop these into a different order if you wanted to. So let's have them all build in like that, wait three seconds, now they all fade out like that. Really nice. Now let's do the same thing with this, except we already have these moving in like that. So should we have them move out? Should we have them fade out? There are a lot of different things that we can do. Let's select each one of these and look at the build out options here. Let's choose fade and move. We can preview this and see what it looks like. Like that. Of course, we're going to choose different directions. So we'll choose all of those and then we'll go to each one here. This one here will go top to bottom. This one will go bottom to top, top to bottom, bottom to top. And then we'll select these three here with previous build. This one will be after build four with a three second delay. So now, they build in like that and they build out like that. 
So for each slide, basically, you want to kind of design a layout like this. Then you want to go and figure out what you want for the build in and the build out for each one of these. If you're going to do a background, then you're going to probably, instead of build in or build out for the background, simply have that as the action. Then you're going to want to make sure that the build order reflects exactly how you want to do things. This is where most people make mistakes. You want to make sure each thing is exactly what you want. The first item should be after transition if you want it to be automatic. All the other items should be either with build or after build. And you should pay attention to the delays for each one to get everything just right. Then of course you continue to complete your slideshow, add text, add different things for each slide. And when you're done, export it as a video and you have a nice dynamic slideshow. Something that others might create in the video editing tool. But you can do it pretty simply in Keynote. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.